show you how to make evil plug beats for slime cito let's get into it so first off i got this chord progression <laughs> complicated i just took the e and f one octave up so it sounds like this it's a pretty common chord progression for a dark plug or evil plug then i layered it with uh, acoustic piano sounds like this and i also added some top notes these are also, as you can see, the E and the F, so I stayed in the in the same notes. Then I got this Russian sub. As you can see as well, the E and the F. And just for some texture. took the G note to make it sound a bit different from the rest. Next up we got, I think it's the 808 Glide, yes, 808 Glide. Nothing special, just some texture. After that I took a plug and I did this melody. As you can see, it's nothing special. I changed the last F to a G for some variation. And this melody should stay in the background of the, of the whole beat. So nothing crazy. All right, next up we got this bell from Nexus. All right, uh, this repeats. Just for some texture, as always, and as you can see, I stayed in the E, F, and G note. That's it basically for the melody. And for the drums, I'm gonna show you right now. These are my drums. I don't know if I should cover every drum, but the most important is the hi-hat. Um, yeah, basically what I did, before the clap, I put two, two hi-hats uh, to add some bounce. And I also lowered the first velocity a bit, so it goes from down to up. Uh, this adds a bit of bounce. Yeah, just a small trick. Um, I added some hi hat rolls um, on the second clap, and then after the first clap, as you can see, some hi hat rolls are under the C and some are over the C. Basically, it repeats. Um, I got the high head, I mean the open head. Yeah, I 
don't think it makes sense if I show you every single one because in context everything makes sense. Mm, for the 808 I put some slide notes right before it hits so it hits a bit harder. That's it for the drums, I guess. I layered it the 808 with a kick. Nothing special, really. For the 808, I took a paramedic EQ2 and I boosted the low end. Also, I took out some unnecessary frequencies, put a sound goodizer on, the limiter with the ceiling all the way up, then a soft clipper. For the kick, I put a paramedic EQ to cut out the unnecessary frequencies and like the 808, I put a limiter with the ceiling fully to the top. Also the soft clipper, sound goodizer. I don't know why I did this, but <laughs> I did it. You don't have to do it exactly like me. For the master, nothing special. I took out some high end because I thought the melody was a bit too loud and the drums should hit harder. Um, I cut out the unnecessary frequencies and put on some Maximus. Basically, I compressed some of the low end, the mid, mid end, the high end with this multiband compressor. And that's basically it. Also, I put the threshold to 1% and I boosted the post gain to 0 0.5 dB. Now we can come to the arrangement. Basically, I put the three most important melodies on the front and I just put the clap and the hi hat with this sound effect. <laughs> a 16 bar hook with a 24 bar verse. I did a little intro on that so the drums don't start right away. They need to kind of build up. Nothing special. Then after that I got my 16 bar hook again and then the outro I just let the volume fade out and that's basically it. That's it for the tutorial guys, I hope you learned something new. If you liked the video then please leave a like and subscribe, this would support me very much. Also leave a comment what you want to see next or what I could do better in my videos. I will put a link in the description and the comments with a free Evil Loop Kit. It's completely free. 50-50 split on BeatStars, that's all. If you make a beat with my Loop Kit, please tag me on social media. I will leave links for that in the description also. Also check out my other plug tutorial. I will leave an info card right now. And yeah guys, Hope you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, see you next time.